Lord, we know that you control all things, and we trust in you. Please help us to pray faithfully, fast as you lead us, and give offerings willingly to cooperate in disabling this latest threat to our country, our whole world. Amen. Well, heart dwellers, our intel source has sent an alert to us, and we are issuing a call to prayer, offering, and fasting. This is a potentially most serious situation. When I read the title, speaking of a dead man switch, I didn't know what that was, so I did just a little research on it. One source stated that a dead man switch is a switch that is designed to be activated if the human operator becomes incapacitated, such as through death, loss of consciousness, or being bodily removed from control. On a simple level, for instance, if you passed out or had a heart attack while you were running your riding lawnmower, it would stop instead of plowing on in spite of you. The article added that, though originally applied to switches on a vehicle or machine, it has since come to be used to describe other intangible uses, like in computer software. Our source explained in their letter to us, in the world of computers and the devices they are programmed to operate, the concept of a dead man switch is that it is activated by inaction. For example, if a password is entered daily, the switch remains off. But if no one enters the password, the switch is then activated, and whatever the device or weapon the program is holding back is then released. They continued, there are three such dead man switches here in the United States that are monitoring bioweapons. These weapons have been placed near the Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland area, Sacramento, California, and Seattle, Washington. These bioweapons, once released, would cause China to launch nukes on these areas and then blame Russia, who has nothing to do with this, so the clay feet can begin World War III and avoid their arrest. All of this will plan out in the next six to seven weeks. Interestingly, I looked it up, Easter is at the end of seven weeks from now. Our source finished the letter, we should pray against this every single day and ask God to reveal the locations of the devices along with the ability and the wisdom to how to disarm them and of course that they would not go off. If one of these switches goes off, millions of people will die. President Trump is trying to take out the clay feet without these bioweapons going off, and our prayers will help make a great difference. So let us all rise up for the kingdom again, dear heart dwellers. Join our petitions to the Father's will, as Jesus has asked us to ask him more time, more grace, more mercy, Father, until the very last moment you are able to give us to help gather in your children. Amen.